So I'm here in Boston. Uh, I'm at the public library, just checking out the amazing architecture, which brings me on to learning and action. Um, I've taught a lot of people over my time. People, somebody asked me once, would you mentor me? And I was a bit like, oh, okay. So I did and I love it. And what I've discovered is that everybody learns and then puts into action at their own pace. So me, I spent an entire year reading books about property, um, understanding or thinking or trying to understand the whole process, getting my head wrapped around it because this is the most important thing that you can deliver on is your brain and your conception of what is achievable and then understanding the processes to make that achie achievable thing happen. So for me, buying a discounted property is like just having a cup of tea, raising 100 grand is it's just a couple of phone calls, whereas that was just outside of my conception of what was possible over a decade ago. So because my learning has caught up and my experience has caught up. So for me, I spent an entire year just planning my business, writing a business plan. It was 16 pages long. It was like the perfect mathematical business plan. Of course, it didn't deliver just like I was supposed to. But what it did do was really allow me to mentally iron out a lot of the difficulties before they came so I could then mentally think about how I was going to proceed with those difficulties and resolve them before they hit. Now, didn't mean to say I foresaw every difficulty, of course not, but what it meant was I was much better prepared when I did start and I think that was really useful. But on the other hand, you know, I did a year of doing nothing. So that could be perceived as a real failure, couldn't it? So I think what I wanna just talk about is, is to get into property where there are some significant risks, there's a huge amount of opportunity to learn. I mean, our website, you know, I write tons of stuff for you guys. I put my heart and soul into it. So pop onto our website and, and have a good look at everything you can download from there. But also to mitigate the risk and to make sure that you are operating in a safe as way as possible and as successful as way as possible, I definitely would suggest that you, you decide to spend a period of time being an apprentice, learning and set out, know your own self. You know, if you're a person that can learn something and do it the next day, well, fabulous, give yourself to wait for hours. If you're a person like me that really needs time to absorb an understanding of a strategy, I took, I took 12 months. There you go, we're getting away from a guy in Boston. <laughs> so kind of give yourself a grace period of learning before you put it into action. And good luck to you. Obviously these videos are there for you to learn. We've got tons and they're divided into playlists. My website, I got loads of free stuff. I've got loads of very, very high quality education on there for you, thegoodpropertycompany.co.uk. But whilst I wouldn't say do nothing, I would definitely say give yourself a mental grace period of saying, this is how I acquire knowledge. And therefore I need that knowledge to be successful. And it would be crazy to start without knowing stuff, wouldn't it? Especially in something as big purchase as property. Good luck to you. I'm going off to explore Boston Library now.